Facts about electric cars. Need to know video. Charging with a socket in the rain? Do you have to be careful with water with an electric car? Why is the range smaller at low temperatures? Stay tuned for more information. Hello guys and welcome to our channel, Cars All Electric. Please subscribe and like this video and we love you for it. Facts about electric cars. With moisture, rain, and snow, you can ask the question, do you have to be careful with water with an electric car? We look at some situations from everyday life. Although electric vehicles are growing in popularity, there are still many rumors or little known facts about their contact with water. And that's quite normal. Electric cars and plug-in hybrids are just not that well known to the general public. Here are some facts about electric cars and water. Flooded road surface or puddles. It all depends on the height of the water level. If water hits the chassis over a distance of several meters, it's better not to drive on. The potential risks of water entering are greater the longer the underside of the car is in contact with water. Electric cars can drive through large puddles without any problems because their engines are watertight and have no intakes. The same goes for the batteries, which are sealed. You may once have footage of videos showing a Tesla going almost 2 meters underwater. However, we do not recommend trying this at home. On the other hand, cars with an internal combustion engine are also likely to give up if water were to enter through the intake or air filter. Keep in mind that electric cars are less sensitive to flooded roads and puddles than vehicles with a combustion engine. However, don't intentionally try to go several inches under the water just because you could lose control of the vehicle if you don't see where you're driving. Charging with a socket in the rain. If you want to charge your electric or plug-in hybrid car in the pouring rain with your wall socket at home, give up the idea quickly. Indeed, charging with the home charger provided by the manufacturer, even assuming it's waterproof, does not guarantee success. There is a risk of a short circuit during a charging session. Also, avoid holding cables with wet hands and or equipment, or with your feet in the water. Avoid connecting the plugs if they're not completely dry. What about public charging stations? Basically, it's the same as charging at home. The precautions for electric cars and water remain the same. Do not touch the cables with your feet in the water or connect them if the plugs are wet. The only thing that changes here is that the power will only start after electronic communication has taken place. In the event of a short circuit detection, for example due to a plug that's become wet, charging will not start and the risk of electrocution during connection is therefore excluded. To disconnect the cable, even with difficulty, it's normally impossible to get a power surge yourself. While charging is in progress, do not touch the plugs with wet hands, however. But again, this is just common sense. High pressure wash. With pressure washers, there's a risk that some seals will be subjected to a force that will no longer prevent them, even temporarily, from penetrating water. This also applies to combustion engines. Strong water pressure directed at the radiator, for example, can damage it. For your electric car, it's better not to direct the powerful water jets at the inside of the spaces. Compartments where, for example, the parts of the engine are housed. The same goes for the chassis, especially if the battery pack and connecting elements are visible. In other words, you can wash your electric car with high pressure, with precautions regarding sensitive parts. Why is the range smaller at lower temperatures? The battery of an electric car hates the cold. You won't get as far with it at low temperatures, and that can make a lot of difference. Why is the range shorter at low temperatures? An electric car draws energy from the battery. It works best at temperatures that we ourselves also find comfortable. So between 15 and 25 degrees Celsius. If it gets warmer because of the sun, but also because of frequent fast charging, the capacity of the battery will decrease permanently. Therefore, the battery often has to be cooled when charging with a fast charger. That is important for longevity. Less action radius at low temperatures. However, when it gets colder, it's not good either. Then, the chemical processes in the battery run slower. This results in less energy and therefore the range decreases at low temperatures. That could be just 10%. That's about 30 kilometers for many cars. Usually, that will be fine, but it's something to take into account, especially if you drive longer distances in a day. Tips for more range. Low temperatures therefore have a negative effect on the range of your electric car. Although there are now cars with a heated battery pack and that impact is therefore somewhat reduced, that heating has to come from somewhere and it therefore also costs energy to keep your battery pack at the right temperature. Apart from such a heated battery pack, you can follow these tips yourself to increase the range even in the cold. Use the heated seats. 
heating in the air in a car is not efficient. And especially if you already have to take it easy with that heating, using the heated seats is a better idea. Seat heating heats up very quickly and is in direct contact with your body so that you warm up faster yourself. Use the preheating. Many electric cars can be pre-programmed to be fully warmed up at a certain time. By setting a departure time, your car will already heat up while still plugged in. And so you leave with a warm, full battery and a pleasant interior. The windows will then all be free of ice. Turn off the rear window defogger. Only use it if there's steam on the window. Tip. If you treat the window with an anti-fog cloth, you probably need the rear window heating even less. Keep your car plugged in. Speaking of the plug, make sure your car is plugged in all night. Then you leave every morning with a full battery. Prepare well. Do you still want to go for a long drive with your electric car in the freezing cold? Make sure you're well prepared, especially if you go to winter sports countries. Find out the approximate range of your car in these circumstances and know where the charging points are on the way. If you have all of this in mind, you can set off without any worries. Make sure you have a charge card in the car. Even if you usually only charge at home, especially when it's colder, you may need it on the road. After all, you may want to charge extra at your destination at a public charging station or on the road at a fast charger. Drive at a moderate speed. So also in the evening, 100 km per hour instead of 130 km per hour. You will be amazed at how little extra time this will take. Use the B position of the transmission. This allows you to brake more on the engine and recover energy. This also makes your battery last longer. Use the cruise control. Driving at a regular speed is more economical. The cruise control is made to do that optimally. Anticipate while driving. Looking ahead makes it easier for you to see in front of you when people slow down or if something is coming your way. Then you can let go of the gas earlier and drive more regularly. Leave unnecessary luggage at home. Extra weight has to get going and that costs extra power. So for example, just clean up those bags of potting soil. Pay attention to tire pressure. If the tires are too soft, it takes more energy to drive and the range is also reduced at low temperatures. Measure the tire pressure regularly. Keep the tire pressure recommended by the car manufacturer.